Eight reasons why Sigma males are viewed as a threat. Hey there, Sigmas. It's time to dive deep into why you, the elusive Sigma male, are often viewed as a threat by society. And let's be honest, by pretty much everyone who doesn't quite understand what makes you tick. Whether you're dominating the room without saying a word, or quietly achieving success while the rest of the world screams for attention, there's something about you that shakes people to their core. And guess what? That's exactly why you're seen as a threat. But hey, being a Sigma is not about overpowering anyone. It's about living life on your own terms and not letting the noise of others derail your journey. Today, we're breaking down eight reasons why Sigma males are viewed as a threat. And trust me, by the end of this, you'll not only understand why, but you'll be even prouder of it. Let's get into it. Firstly, the Sigma male's unpredictability sets him apart from the pack. While the world moves in predictable patterns and rhythms, the Sigma male dances to the beat of his own drum, confounding expectations and unsettling those who find comfort in the familiar. The Sigma male doesn't conform to societal norms, but instead carves out his own path in life, one that is as unique as he is. This inherent unpredictability can be disconcerting to those around him. We as humans are creatures of habit. We like to know what's coming next. We like to feel that we have control over our environment and the people in it. But the Sigma male defies this. He doesn't play by the rules and that can be deeply unsettling to those who do. He's not trying to be difficult or contrary. He's simply being true to himself, to his own values and principles. He doesn't change to fit in. He doesn't bend to the will of others. He remains steadfastly himself, regardless of what others may think or say. And in a world that often encourages conformity, this makes him a wild card, an unknown variable in an otherwise predictable equation. But it's this unpredictability, this refusal to be boxed in, that is the Sigma male's superpower. It's what sets him apart, what makes him intriguing and compelling. He's not like everyone else and he doesn't want to be. He's comfortable in his own skin, unafraid to be different, unafraid to be himself. And there's a certain power, a certain allure in that. So while his unpredictability might unsettle some, it's also what makes the Sigma male so fascinating, so captivating. He's a mystery, an enigma, a puzzle to be solved. And in a world that finds comfort in predictability, the Sigma male's wildcard nature is indeed a game changer. The Sigma male's fierce independence is another aspect that makes him an enigma. It's an intriguing paradox, isn't it? In a world that often seeks companionship, the Sigma male stands alone. His independence is not born out of arrogance or disdain for others, but out of a deep sense of self-reliance. He doesn't need the crowd to validate his existence or to give him a sense of purpose. He finds that within himself. This self-reliance can be intimidating to those who are used to the constant reassurances of a group. The Sigma male doesn't need others to tell him he's doing well or to boost his ego. He's not looking for applause or approval. He's simply living his life, charting his own course, and he's perfectly fine doing so alone. This doesn't mean that Sigma males are antisocial or aloof. Quite the opposite. They can be quite engaging when they want to be, but they don't rely on social interactions to define them. They have a strong sense of self that doesn't waver in the face of criticism or praise. They know who they are, and they're comfortable in their own skin. This independence also extends to their decision-making. Sigma males are not ones to follow the herd. They think for themselves and make their own choices. They don't seek the approval of the crowd or need the consensus of a group to validate their decisions. They trust their own judgment and rely on their own instincts. And here's the thing, this independence, this self-reliance, it's not just about being strong, it's also about being free. Free from the need for validation. Free from the constraints of societal expectations. Free to be themselves. This is what makes the Sigma male so intriguing, so enigmatic, and yes, so threatening to those who are used to the comfort and security of the crowd. In a world that often seeks validation, the Sigma male's self-sufficiency is a breath of fresh air and a source of unease. The Sigma male's intelligence is not just impressive, it's intimidating. Now this isn't about flaunting a high IQ score or using big fancy words to sound smart. No. It's about the Sigma's ability to analyze, comprehend, and navigate situations with a level of depth and understanding that leaves others in awe. 
and let's face it, a little bit intimidated. You see, Sigmas aren't just smart, they're insightful. They see beyond the surface, diving into the depths of issues, theories, and ideas. They're the ones who can dissect a problem, find the root, and come up with a solution before others even fully understand what's going on. And this kind of intelligence, this ability to outthink and outmaneuver, can feel like a threat to those who are used to being the smartest in the room. But it's not just about being quick on the uptake. Sigmas also have a knack for learning and adapting. They're constantly absorbing new information, expanding their knowledge, and using it to navigate the world. They're not afraid of change or new ideas. In fact, they thrive on it. This adaptability, this constant growth and evolution, is another layer of their intelligence that can seem intimidating to others. And then there's the Sigma's strategic mind. They're not just thinkers, they're planners. They have this uncanny ability to see the bigger picture, to anticipate outcomes, to strategize and plot their course with precision. It's like they're playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. And when you're up against a strategic mind like that, it's easy to feel outmatched and threatened. So yes, the Sigma male's intelligence can be intimidating. But remember, it's not about making others feel less. It's about using their intellect to navigate the world on their own terms, to make informed decisions, to constantly learn and grow. And if that's threatening to some, well, that's their problem to deal with, not the Sigma's. In the battle of wits, the Sigma male often emerges victorious, leaving others feeling threatened. The Sigma male's self-contentment is a mirror that reflects others' insecurities. Welcome to the fifth chapter of our Sigma journey, where we delve into the Sigma's remarkable self-contentment. The Sigma male, this fascinating breed of men, are content in their own company. And this contentment is a stark contrast to the constant need for company and validation seen in others. It's not that they're antisocial or introverted, no. It's just that their happiness doesn't hinge on the approval of others. A Sigma male's self-contentment isn't about being self-absorbed or narcissistic. Instead, it's about understanding oneself, knowing one's worth, and not seeking outside validation for it. They're content with their own company, their own thoughts, their own ideas. They enjoy the silence, the solitude, the peace it brings. They're comfortable in their own skin, and that's a trait that's incredibly rare in a world that's constantly telling us we're not good enough as we are. This self-contentment can be unnerving for others. It's like holding up a mirror to their insecurities. When they see a Sigma male so content in his own world, not seeking approval or validation, it makes them question their own need for it. It makes them question why they constantly seek validation, why they're constantly trying to fit in, why they're constantly trying to be someone they're not. It shakes their world and that's what makes the Sigma male a threat. It's not that the Sigma male is doing anything to intentionally make others insecure. They're just living their life, their way. But their self-contentment, their confidence, their peace, it's like a spotlight illuminating the insecurities of others. It's like a mirror reflecting back to them their own need for validation, their own discomfort with themselves. And that can be incredibly threatening. So dear Sigma, your self-contentment is not just a trait, it's a mirror. A mirror that reflects back to others their own insecurities, their own discomfort with themselves. And that's why you're seen as a threat. But remember, it's not your job to dim your light to make others feel comfortable. Shine on, Sigma, shine on. The Sigma male's happiness in his own company is a stark contrast to the constant need for company and validation seen in others. The Sigma male's elusive nature adds to his threatening aura. A Sigma male is a master of his own world a solitary wolf who prefers his own company to the hustle and bustle of social gatherings. His elusiveness, though, is often misunderstood. It's not that he dislikes people, rather he values his solitude and personal space more. This preference, however, can make him seem intimidating to others. In a world where social gatherings and connections are often seen as a measure of one's worth, a Sigma male's preference for solitude can be quite unsettling. His ability to thrive in isolation, to find joy in his own thoughts, and to be content without the constant noise of society, is a stark contrast to the norm. It's this deviation from the conventional that often makes him appear threatening to others. But why is this so? 
It's because the Sigma male's elusiveness challenges the very fabric of our social norms. We're conditioned to believe that success and happiness stem from social interactions and connections. When a Sigma male disproves this by finding contentment in solitude, it can be disconcerting. It forces others to question their own dependence on social validation, and that's a scary thought for many. Furthermore, the Sigma male's elusiveness also adds to his mysterious aura. He doesn't reveal much about himself, keeping his thoughts and emotions close to his chest. While this makes him intriguing, it also makes him unpredictable. And unpredictability can often be perceived as a threat. But remember, the Sigma male doesn't choose solitude to intimidate others. He does it because it aligns with his true nature. His elusiveness is not a conscious effort to appear threatening, but rather a reflection of his innate preference for solitude and independence. In conclusion, the Sigma male's elusiveness can indeed make him appear threatening to others. But this is not due to any inherent danger he poses, but instead due to the challenge he presents to societal norms and expectations. In a world that values social connections, the Sigma male's preference for solitude is indeed a cause for concern. The Sigma male's unconventional path to success is a threat to traditional norms. You see, the Sigma male doesn't follow the typical blueprint for success. He doesn't climb the corporate ladder, he doesn't seek the spotlight, he doesn't network or schmooze. Yet, he still manages to achieve success. How? Well, he carves his own path. He builds his own ladder and he does it all without the need for external validation or recognition. This might seem baffling to some. The world tells us that to be successful, we need to be outgoing, we need to be seen, we need to be popular. The Sigma male, however, quietly defies these expectations. He finds success in his own way, often through unconventional means. Maybe he's a freelancer working from a secluded cabin, or an entrepreneur building a business in his basement. He doesn't need a swanky office or a team of yes-men to validate his ideas. His success is not measured by a job title or a corner office, but by his own personal benchmarks. This is threatening to those who follow the traditional path to success. It challenges the status quo. It questions the notion that you must fit into a certain mold or follow a certain path to be successful. It suggests that there might be another way, a different way, a quieter way. And that can be scary for those who have spent their whole lives striving to fit in, to climb the ladder, to be seen. But the Sigma male doesn't care about fitting in. He doesn't care about the ladder or the spotlight. He only cares about his own path, his own success, his own happiness. And he achieves these in his own unique way. He doesn't need to follow the crowd because he's perfectly content blazing his own trail. The Sigma male's success, achieved in his own unique way, is a threat to those who follow the beaten path. But for the Sigma male, it's simply the way he lives his life, independently, authentically, successfully. Finally, the Sigma male's nonconformity is a direct challenge to societal norms. With their independent mindset and unconventional approach to life, the Sigma male refuses to be swayed by societal expectations or traditions. This often leaves the world at large, somewhat bewildered. The Sigma male's nonconformity is not a rebellion. It's simply their way of life. They don't set out to disrupt societal norms, but their very existence, their way of living and thinking, inevitably challenges the status quo. They march to the beat of their own drum, not because they want to cause a commotion, but because they are naturally attuned to their own rhythm. In a world that values conformity, this can be unsettling. It's easier for society to understand and label individuals who fit neatly within established roles and expectations. The Sigma male, however, defies categorization. They are not an alpha, seeking dominance and attention. Nor are they a beta, content to follow and support. They are Sigma, self-sufficient and content in their solitude, dancing to their unique tune. This non-conformity can be perceived as a threat. It challenges the order of things, the comfort of knowing where everyone fits. It questions the very fabric of societal norms and expectations, suggesting that there might be other, equally valid ways to live one's life. This can be a terrifying prospect for those who cling to the safety of the known, the familiar. But let me tell you this, Sigmas. This challenge you pose to the status quo isn't something to shy away from. It's a testament to your strength, your individuality, 
You show us that it's possible to carve out our own path, to live life on our own terms without succumbing to societal pressures. In a world that values conformity, the Sigma male's non-conformity is indeed a threat, but it's also a beacon of hope, a testament to the power and beauty of individuality. So keep being you, Sigmas. The world may not always understand you, but that's okay. Your journey is your own, and that's what makes it so uniquely powerful. In conclusion, the Sigma male is a threat, not because he seeks to overpower others, but because he challenges the status quo. The Sigma male's unpredictability, independence, intelligence, and self-contentment unsettle those who are comfortable in their conformity. It's not about being intimidating, it's about living authentically, and that can be a daunting prospect for many. Let's revisit the eight reasons why Sigma males are viewed as a threat. Firstly, their unpredictability keeps them one step ahead, making them a mystery that can't be boxed in. This creates an intriguing allure that many find disconcerting. Secondly, their independence is a silent declaration of strength, an attribute that intimidates those who rely on the approval and support of others. Thirdly, the Sigma male's intelligence is not just about being smart, it's about seeing the world from a unique perspective, which can be an intimidating reality for some. Fourthly, their self-contentment reflects the insecurities of others, making them a mirror that many would rather avoid. Fifthly, the Sigma male's elusiveness makes them a threat in disguise. They don't need the spotlight to make a difference, and this quiet influence can be unsettling for those who equate noise with power. Next, their unconventional path to success challenges traditional norms, making them a threat to the established order. Seventhly, they defy societal expectations, preferring to march to the beat of their own drum. This non-conformity is a challenge to the status quo, making them a threat to those who are afraid of change. And finally, the Sigma male's refusal to seek validation is a stark reminder of how dependent many people are on the approval of others. This can be a frightening revelation for those who tie their self-worth to external validation. So, yes, Sigma males are seen as a threat, but it's not about causing fear. It's about challenging norms and inspiring change. In a world that fears the unknown, the Sigma male is a beacon of individuality and independence. And that, my friends, is something to be embraced, not feared.